traders i'm gonna look at you you stay here and uh, use one of these shapes the rectangle i think gonna be good for this one so you can see here uh, if we draw a box we can see the point of breakout so we had a lower high and uh, we're gonna expect the price to continue but I'm gonna let it come down just a little bit more maybe a second touch here on the uh, on our box here the upper boundary that got broken here so a second touch here and also on our trend line here as you can see so this could be a good trade uh, now we can look at my other chart here we have the stochastic as well we can see on the five minutes pretty much oversold 15 minutes also oversold 30 minutes almost oversold so we're gonna wait a little bit more um, so going back to our clean chart here uh, we can also see if we would to draw a trend line here uh, it's broken so price continued up here uh, failed but then uh, again continued up so let's wait and see what happens hey traders we're back as you can see price is slowly approaching our two lines here the trend line and the upper boundary of the box here that will act as support so when it touches i think the right expiry in this case should be at least half an hour uh, we can see this is the 15 minute time frame by the way we were on the 30 minute time frame before but i switched down it's easier to see here on the 15 minute time frame so as you can see we had half an hour at least half an hour uh, should work uh, so this candle when it closes it'll be half past full hour so at 15 30 my time uh, hopefully it will come down here and then uh, we'll see a bounce uh, up here to this target from which it might return down to our trend line so that's why I want to do only two 15 minute candles because I'm not sure if it's gonna break this level uh, it might actually do that but uh, we'll have to see so uh, let's wait just a few more pips uh, for this candle to come down before we enter I'm gonna go ahead and enter because we have given it enough time so even though even if this candle comes down all the way uh, we've given it enough time to retrace and uh, hold the trend line so uh, we'll have to get back to this um, I will pause the video. I'm back. It's been uh, about half an hour. So my trade has another minute before it expires. Uh, less than a minute, actually 45 seconds to go. As you can see, we entered here at the box. Uh, I didn't have the best entry. I mean, I could have waited a little bit more. I entered already here uh, at this line here, but uh, my trade uh, went slightly against me. As you can see, it went all the way down to my trend line. Uh, even slightly below so he faked a breakout or rather a break in the box before reversing and as you can see the expiry worked with the two 15 minute candles that we looked back and I said a couple of 15 minute candles should be good and I was worried that this uh, upper resistance would not break as you can see the price is just about to uh, close at the exact same uh, target that I mentioned so the trade expired at exactly this line uh, that I was worried won't, wouldn't break so as you can see my expiry was good of, of course it could break sooner or later we don't know that but I was just not 100% uh, sure that it would break this line and uh, if it didn't it would reverse and as you can see it's going totally against us now but luckily our trade has expired i'm going to show you my trade so you can see that i actually took it on my live account so here's the trade guys you can see that my entry was 8861 remember the broker's charts the broker's price quotes differs from my uh, metatrader because there are different uh, code providers so we look at the 
charts here, my entry was about, uh, as we said, eight eight around eight eight five. But with the brokers, I get a little bit different price. I should have waited uh, another minute. I would have get, gotten a better expiry. But as you can see, it wasn't that bad. It was just uh, out for a few minutes, and then uh, we had pretty much uh, we were pretty much in the money all the time. Uh, all the remaining time and it expired at 9 30 and the entry was about 15 past around 15 past the full hour and the expiry was at 45 the picture was taken at 47 so, but the expiry was at 45 which is uh, about 29 minutes of expiry on this uh, trade 29 minutes and you can see the return and the investment so you can see it's a winning trade it expired uh, and let's look at our charts again. Uh, you can also see a, a tr downtrend here. So the price is uh, making a pattern here. If uh, this trend line gets broken, we might see a continuation. Uh, if this uh, gets broken, we might see price coming down here to our box. So you can uh, use this box tool. You can extend this as price keeps moving. You can extend it further. So maybe in a later tonight maybe price breaks here and then continues down here uh, gets back up to our trend line here we don't know that but if we have our targets here and we extend our lines we keep track of our lines we will see how price reacts to, to these in the future in the near future uh, today in a few hours or tomorrow so keep an eye on those uh, place your lines like this this uh, toolbox uh, toolboxes are great, the shapes. Uh, I'm going to show you the triangle as well uh, and more about the rectangle as well. Uh, obviously it depends on how you draw it. You can draw boxes or whatever. In this case for example maybe a triangle is a better shape than the rectangle because price is declining like this, like this and you have highs and lows in different areas. So for example if you were to draw a triangle here I would set up my point one and the lowest point uh, and you can see we have a triangle and uh, if price keeps moving we will we could draw our triangle to the uh, right uh, and see uh, what happens as you can see here's the pattern here kind of like a flag pattern and uh, we'll see if it holds or not so uh, use those tools like that and uh, pay attention to the price action thanks for watching